Good morning, my friends. Today is Friday, September 27th. It's Friday of the 25th week in Ordinary Time. Got my hair cut, getting ready for the Camino. Uh, it's day 17 of Be Formed, and it's the Memorial of St. Vincent de Paul. You probably have heard of St. Vincent de Paul Society. So who is St. Vincent de Paul? Born in 1581 in France. Uh, he was born in a, in a poor family, uh, but his father saw that he had a lot of gifts, especially academically. So he gave him the best of educations, and uh, he felt called to be a priest. And when he got to the seminary, he started to realize he liked the Maybe he didn't realize it, but he liked the finer things, the French cuffs and all of that. And one day his father came to visit the seminary. He walked for miles to come and he rang the doorbell of the seminary and Vincent looked out the window and uh, one of the other seminarians answered the door. And Vincent was embarrassed because his father was, was dirty. He wasn't, you know, you know, well kept and he denied uh, his father. You can imagine uh, the pain in his father. And so uh, he, he made his father walk home without visiting him. This was eating at his conscience and God started to mold Vincent as he got ordained little by little, uh, molding, molding him to become a man especially for the poor. And he, he started the Confraternity of Charity uh, to offer consistent and ongoing help to the poor uh, based on Matthew 25, 40, whatever you did for the least of my brothers, uh, you did for me. He also then started the Daughters of Charity with St. Louise de Marillac. Um, and they, we know the St. Vincent de Paul Society, which helps the poor, started about 150 years after his death, uh, and he died in 1660. So we pray for his intercession today that we can be uh, not tied to the things of this world, but to be lovers of God and, and to love the poor especially. In the first reading from the book of Ecclesiastes, you know, we heard already vanity of vanities, uh, all is vanity to not get caught up in the things of the world. And today we have a common reading at funerals. There's 14 pairs of, of opposites. There's a time to be born and a time to die a time to plant, and a time to uproot. And again, 14 different pairs. And a lot of these things, it's like, okay, it makes you think, when is the time to die? When is the time to be born? When is the time to plant? We, we don't understand God's timing in a lot of things. And I always go back to Bishop Barron in our Doctrine of God class. He had a huge wall behind him, and he said, God is creating a masterpiece. Imagine this is a beautiful canvas that God is creating his masterpiece. Our perspective is, and he walked up to the wall, he said, this is our perspective. We see a few dots, random colors, but it doesn't make any sense. It isn't until we take a step back and we have time and perspective that we start to see the masterpiece. In the moment when we're struggling, when we're suffering, when we lose a loved one, when we go through a lot of different things, it doesn't make a bit of sense. Um, but God invites us to trust that his masterpiece is being carried out in the midst of our struggles. I know having lost both of my parents, uh, a brother that was stillborn, um, there's a lot of questions that I have for God, like why then, uh, why them? And, uh, you know, I'd love to have my mom still around. When I see somebody walking with an elderly parent, there's something in my heart that says, oh, I wish that were uh, my mom or dad. But God invites, invites us to trust him and to say, okay, this is my perspective right now. I don't understand, but I trust. A quick example for me was, you know, I was redshirted my first year in college, which means I could practice but not play. And I was devastated. I thought I proved myself that first fall. I thought I, I should have been able to play, but I got redshirted and I, I wasn't happy. But as I look back on it now, I was seeing this four years later, my fifth year, uh, is when I hit the Grand Slam that, you know, is the basis of my book. It's when I had the best game of my life. It's what, you know, I'm remembered for that Mississippi State. That never would have happened had I played that first year. And God's saying, you got to give me time here. I'm, I'm unfolding the masterpiece. And of course, ultimately, the masterpiece is that we see God face to face, the beatific vision, and we enjoy him for all eternity. No matter how difficult things get here, the Lord's saying, trust me, you may be seeing this, 
but one day you're going to see me and the glory uh, of God, the glory of, of heaven, and um, all things will be, will be right with us in God. So Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for your son, Jesus. We thank you for perspective. Help us uh, during the difficult times of life, the times when we don't understand. Uh, help us to trust in you, just to take one, one uh, step, put one foot in front of the other, uh, and, and follow your ways. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please continue to like, subscribe, and share these videos with at least one person today. To you and to your families, buen camino, and God bless you.